What's up everybody, King of Home here, coming at you with your daily crypto update. Today we're going to be talking about KuSwap yet again, giving you guys an update on the KuCoin community chain ecosystem. I do think that there are going to be some really, really good things on the horizon. However, of course, when you have a massive, massive pump and massive, massive interest in something, you will have a pretty large retracement, which is what we're seeing right here. So I'm going to talk about the price of KuSwap as well as KuCoin, why I'm not panicking and still where things are looking from here. Those of you who are newer to the crypto world, this is going to be a, definitely a helpful video because I, I already have had some people contact me and say that they're a little scared or a little frightened because the price is going down but we'll talk about all that stuff in this video if you guys gonna want to get access to these videos early then definitely check out my patreon page uh, over here you're gonna be getting a lot of really really good benefits one of them being a community a chat in discord where we're talking about this stuff before I make the videos which is going to be very helpful for those of you who are on top of your crypto projects also you're gonna be getting all of my videos up to 24 maybe hours early maybe even three days early depending on the content that I release and a lot of this stuff is time sensitive you guys have been seeing it over the past couple days I mean when you have a coin go from seven dollars to eighteen dollars back down to twelve dollars you're gonna need to that information as quick as possible so being subscribed to me over here on patreon can help you get there not required though if you guys are kind of more uh, relaxed on your crypto journey if you're if you're not if you're not looking at it, things every couple hours then uh, the patreon is not necessary let's get straight back to the action let's first t take a look at ku swap currently sitting at twelve dollars and seventy six cents I don't think this is quite updated we'll look at it on the actual exchange in a second uh, coin gecko is always a, a few minutes behind but nonetheless what we're seeing here is like I said we had a drop we had a, a, a pretty much an all-time high of about twenty four dollars and then we had some pretty big volatility down down to about $12, back up to $17, and then we kind of leveled off and kind of have been bouncing off of that $12 mark. So that support there is critical. Now, one of the things that like I realized is, and I told you guys this, KuSwap and CoffeeSwap, those are the heavy hitters. Those are the juggernauts currently of the KuCoin community chain. There's a lot of other very, very small, meme-like projects that are kind of coming out of the woodworks. We have Ku Dogecoin. Uh, there's some other coins that are just like complete and total memes. The, the Ku Cat, uh, which kind of rugged, and we have a few other things as well. But those projects and those coins are, are clearly not to be taken very seriously over the long term. But when we're looking at projects like KuSwap and like CoffeeSwap, you have to look at these projects with a different lens and understand that these uh, coins and websites and projects are going to stand the test of time and really just set the foundation for the KuCoin community chain. So the way that I look at it is like this, since nothing else is really competing to KuSwap and CoffeeSwap, um, these two coins, uh, like as the KuCoin community chain grows, these coins will also grow. As the KuCoin community chain uh, kind of wanes and goes down, these coins will also go down with it. That's what it means to be a foundational coin. So, uh, like I said, I'm not worried at all. Of, of course, like like when you when you have something like this happen, when you have KuCoin, which I said before, it was uh, you know a, a few days ago. This is this is up 83 percent in the past 14 days, which is pretty crazy in itself. Uh, so you, you're going to have some pullbacks when you're up over 100 percent. And the other thing, the other thing to note is that. There's no stablecoin pair on the KuCoin community chain yet. So when we're looking at KuSwap, when we're looking at CoffeeSwap, the price of these coins are basically one-to-one -one tethered to KuCoin. So when the price of KuCoin went down, you should expect the price of KuSwap and CoffeeSwap to go down um, pretty much equally, if not more because people are going to be wanting to go into the quote unquote stable, the only stable coin there is in the KuCoin community chain, which is the KuCoin token. Um, so it's kind of, it's going to go down twice as much essentially when things are starting to look a little grim in the market, which is kind of exactly what happened. So uh, what are my predictions from here on out? Like I said, uh, KuCoin's the KuCoin token, their previous all-time high was $20, and it kind of was skirting and touching that closely uh, not too long ago. Uh, so here sitting at $11, $12 right now, I think it's 
like like there have been so many developments and will continue to be developments use case and people coming into the system that i think that this is a very very cheap price can it rebound back to seven dollars sure it can do that but again as long as there's continued development that's the stipulation there you have to see uh the community chain actually doing some community projects and growing the growing the chain overall as long as that's happening uh, there's there's no reason there's no logical reason why the coin is just going to be suppressed and killed and go down over time um, also like I said when we see the the market of Bitcoin go up and ethereum go up uh, it's going to boost the market of everything and with kucoin and the kucoin community chain growing in itself I think that these prices I think these are steals to be honest like like if I'm being honest with you I did pick up some more KCS and honestly this is probably the prime time to pick up some uh, some coup swap as well um, my story is this usually I don't tell people what I do because I mean you guys gotta make your own decisions for buys and sells but I did actually sell my coup swap tokens at the top at basically at 24 and then I rebought uh, basically about one fourth of my stack at twenty dollars for Kuswap, and Kuswap is again sitting currently at twelve dollars. So uh, this is pretty much for me a prime time to to buy another like fourth of my stack back, uh, just in case it does rebound a little bit more and the market doesn't recover. I'll be prepared to buy back a little bit lower, uh, but. Yeah, so I'm, I'm still looking forward to the, the KuCoin chain growing overall. I mean, like this is, this is another reason why I'm not panicked at all about any of the prices or anything like that. I'm more excited than anything else is because like this is just the beginning of the entire uh, chain that is on KuCoin. I remember when, when the Binance smart chains just started, it was the same deal. It, it kind of looked like a pump and dump real quick. It lasted, you know, like a week, and then people were like, let's get out before it all dumps. It did dump, and then it resurged up like crazy. I remember that was when the Binance Smart Chain was back in around like the 20 spot, and then it just rocketed up to the number four spot shortly after that. And I think I missed that because I think I, I was I was shaken out uh, because I was there for about a week, and I said, let me, let me wait for this to cool down, and I missed my chance to jump back in. Uh, not gonna, Same thing's not going to happen for me over here on the KuCoin ecosystem if we do have some dips like today. Um, you know, I'm going to be prepared for as this, as this entire blockchain, as this entire side chain continues to grow. And uh, we'll see some new heights for KuCoin, some new heights for KuSwap. I mean, just do your own research on KuCoin itself. I really like the the website. I've been using KuCoin for a while. I, I like the website. I like the the team itself. I like what they're doing. I like that you can stake KuCoin um, on the the exchange itself. Um, and and they, they do great stuff, just like what Binance was at its inception. So don't sleep on KuCoin. Always do your own research and understand you know where these things can go in the future. Um, farming still looking good. Like I said, they did fix their APYs on here. So 2,505% yearly is not too shabby. It's not any crazy rates, um, like a million percent, anything like that. But again, you have to keep in mind that um, if if the uh, if the KuSwap token continues to grow as well, like I said, and goes to that ADEX mark, goes to about $100, maybe even $300 per token, then um you know five percent the the apy that you're looking at right now is going to be eight times higher than that if, if the price of the coup swap token goes up eight times as much so those are just some things to consider um yeah so that is everything hopefully if you guys were panicking at all i know a lot of you have been in the crypto space long enough to not have things like this scare you that much but if you are panicking at all hopefully this kind of eased your minds a little bit and you know uh, things can go bad things can go good I'm, I'm not a genie i don't have a crystal ball i can't predict the future but um you know just, just be a little bit more smart and be less emotional uh that's that's kind of what what my go-to thing is is try to understand the fundamentals of these things are can they survive uh, or or not i mean looking at i don't have it pulled up right now but there was another coin I, it was the ku cat i mean ku cat number one rugged but there's another ku cat finance that was launched and when you see projects like that those are your projects that are your typical pump and dumps those are your projects that are going to be there for a couple days and then be completely forgotten about and replaced um and and what what ku cat finance was it was just you know your pancake swap clone with with no added features uh you know people are people are gonna game that and, and that's why I'm, I'm not really touching any of those pancake swap carbon copy clones um you know you, you do what you wish but 
it's one of the reasons why I'm avoiding those. But um, that's completely different than when you're looking at these projects with fundamentals like KuSwap and CoffeeSwap. Uh, now you guys know what my favorite is, but I think both of these still do have potential just because one is, in my opinion, better than the other. Doesn't mean the other is going to be destroyed. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what these these coins can do. All, all the whole ecosystem. I'm really excited about it uh, in the future. I don't think it's overvalued. I think it's very undervalued. And um, hopefully, this is going to be like a lot of the other videos I've made in the past. And we'll look back at this four weeks from now and say, "What? KuCoin was at eleven dollars and ninety one cents? Man, I missed that. I should have listened to King of Pumpkin." No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but hopefully, we'll see things like that happen. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, and again, if you want to get these videos early and join the community to talk about this stuff early, that Patreon is available for those of you who are a little bit more into this crypto stuff. However, if you just want to watch for your entertainment, Patreon is not necessary. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.